Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at how to create a list of completed orders from a long list of many orders that have various multiple line items and some have shipped and some haven't, but you just want a list of either the completed orders or maybe the incomplete orders. So we're going to see how we can do that. But before we jump into that, please take a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you get a notice whenever I put out a new video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also find me at any of the social media sites you see here. So now let's check out today's topic. So here's our scenario. Here I have a table and if I look at the table design it's called sales order SLSORD and it has 51 different orders on it from BP100 to BP150 and each one has multiple line items and I just highlighted every other order so you can see the difference and within each line this one has 12 line items some have shipped some have not and BP 101 three line items they've all shipped etc 102 has some that hasn't shipped 103 has 40 different line items and again there's some that are a no, 104 is a yes, 105 is a yes, etc. So what I want to do is generate a list of completed orders or I can generate a list of incomplete orders. So here's our formula we're going to use. Obviously I want a unique list so I'm going to start out with the unique function and I want to filter that list and my array for the filter is going to be the sales order list comma what am I going to include well I'm going to use the count ifs function and my criteria range is going to be the sales order and my criteria is also going to be the sales order my next criteria range is going to be delivered and the criteria for that is going to be no I'll close that parentheses and I want those to equal zero. Close the filter function, close the unique function, hit enter, and now I have a list of completed orders. Remember 100 had some no's in it, but 101, those were all completed, so 101 is complete. Nothing till four, five, six, and seven, so if we go down to there, four, both were completed, five was a yes, six a yes, seven yes, 108 however was a no. So that's the formula and again if I want a list of incomplete orders I'm going to just take and copy that move over to incomplete and instead of having equal zero I'm going to change this to greater than zero hit enter and there's my list of incomplete orders. So for example let's say uh, BP 101 actually there was one line that was a no I hit enter notice 101 has disappeared from the completed orders and is now on the incomplete orders so how does this formula work well we're gonna build the formula from inside out so you can see the process that Excel's going through here I'm gonna take equals count ifs and if you remember my criteria range was sales order and my criteria was also sales order for the first one. I'll close that and what I get is how many line items are in each order and I get a line for each one of the line items. There's 12 in BP100, 3 in 101, 29 in 102, etc. The second criteria range for the count ifs function was delivered and the criteria for that was no and I hit enter and now what happens is I get a count of the number of no's within that order 100 had nine no's out of the 12 101 had one no out of it 102 had seven etc so now I want to know do those equal zero control enter and I get falses I'm going to go ahead and change this to a yes and you can see that since all of the items on 100 were not yeses I get falses but in 101 they were all yeses so I get trues 
and that just goes through for the rest of them. Notice 104, trues, 105, trues, 106, 107, 108, they'll have a no, so I get falses. So now I'll take that formula and I'll wrap it in my filter function with my array being the sales order number, comma, and then I'll close that off. And now what I get is a list of each of the line items that did not have a no in them. And again, to get that down to a unique list, I now just wrap that in the unique function. Again, close that parentheses at the end, hit enter, and now I have my completed order list. And again, if I change any of these, if I go in and change on 100 all to yeses, Notice 100 now is on my completed orders and it disappears from my incomplete order. And again, to go from complete to incomplete, instead of having equal zero, I could just change that to greater than zero and now those are the ones that are completed. And that's how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so to any of the social networks you see here. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling.